guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie. First of all, thank you for this inquiry on this beautiful 2012 HSV Malou. Now I'm going to run you through some of the benefits and the features of why you should own this vehicle, um, but I'm pretty sure you would already know why you would love to own this vehicle. Starting off with the front of the car, you notice that it has that nice aggressive HSV grille. You also notice that it does have the daytime running lights down the bottom as well, right next to the fog lights. Now I can uh, tell you that the paint on this car is in phenomenal condition, especially the front of the car as well. If I'm being super picky, there's a... Mm, nope, it's just dirt, I lied. I was going to say a stone chip, but I lied. It's just a bit of dirt. Other than that, the front presents absolutely fantastic. We'll come around to the uh, side of the vehicle now. We'll take a look at our first alloy wheel. Now, as you can see, with the consistency of the wheels and the paint, you can see that this wheel has absolutely no marks on it whatsoever. Brembo brakes are all in good, uh, in good order as well with the paint, no, none of that fading off too, and pretty much brand new tyres there too. Now you do have this vent down the side here, and you also have your indicator inside that vent, well just on the outside of that vent, sorry. All your HSV badging down below, all intact as well, nothing peeling off, still looking fantastic. And you have colour-coded exterior mirrors with your door handles too. Now the mirrors do have that little black strip going through it, but it gives a really nice contrast with that white paint. Taking a look at the uh, window at, real quick, as you can see the windows have been tinted, so that will save you a bit of money down the, uh, down the track. If we look inside the vehicle, I know there's not much light, I do apologise, I'll see if I can get that on for you guys. There we are, that makes it not much difference, but still you can see a bit better. Um, you can see that the leather on both seats is in fantastic condition, and also down here and across here in fantastic condition as well. Presents absolutely beautifully, you can tell the previous owner has really gone through the efforts to take care of this car. Just going to turn off that light real quick, there we are. We'll work our way down and please just note the consistency in the paintwork. Again, looked absolutely fantastic. Stopping at that second wheel again, you'll see not a single mark on that wheel either and pretty much brand new tyres. I think they are brand new tyres there too. Fuel filler cap is just on the passenger side, oh, sorry, on the driver's side, just above that rear wheel. Coming to the back of the car now, as you can see, uh, you've got all your Malu badging, 317, your RA badging. Uh, and you also have reverse colour coded re park, uh, reverse parking sensors too. You do have a factory camera which I will show you inside the car. And you also got a uh, twin exhaust which has been upgraded which I will run you through once I talk about the engine. We'll open up the uh, hard lid a little bit later. First we'll work around the passenger side now. Again, just have a look at the consistency of the paintwork. You probably will not find a better looking Malu in this condition on the market. Uh, again, that wheel, phenomenal condition with brand new tyres on the back. Even down here, where you usually get a lot of stone chips um, from obviously driving the car every day, that is in fantastic condition as well. Your Malou badging is all intact on that side as well. And just the paintwork in that white, absolutely pretty much showroom condition this car guys. Cannot emphasise this anymore, this is a car where you have to come down and have a look at it. What we'll do now guys is we'll actually pop the open the hard lid and take a look in the back. Now taking a look inside the back of the uh, tray. Now this hard lid is actually central locking so there is no button or anything to actually unlock it unless you press the, the button on the key. So it will unlock it, you just lift it up. Now as I was talking about the outside condition of the vehicle, you can tell why this vehicle uh, has been maintained so well. Previous owner had a car cover on it so you can be assured that the outside of the car is in phenomenal condition. Just have a look inside the tray, I know there's not much light but I can assure you it does not look like the tray has been used for anything at all other than holding this car cover. Uh, what we do now guys is we'll jump at the fr front of the car and we'll take a look at the engine. Guys, now take a look underneath the bonnet, so as you can see the consistency runs the same as the outside of the car inside the, um, the engine bay, where as you can see we do have the up upgraded over the air intake, um, sorry over the radiator air intake. Um, as you can see it's carbon fibre as well, so it looks absolutely fantastic, that is real carbon fibre as well. Now we have ceramic coated headers, or ceramic headers sorry, and we also have the exhaust system as well. So as you can see with a couple of these upgrades, you definitely be pushing a lot more kilowatts. Okay guys, now the consistency runs inside the car as well, but this, when I said this is probably the cleanest Malou on the market, I would actually think it definitely is now, looking inside the car. Starting off with the steering wheel, absolutely no wear on the steering at all. Literally looks like it's been fitted with a brand new steering, but it's literally just the same one and it, look, it is brand new. Um, you've got all your controls for your volume on this side. You also have your EDI, which I'll run into in a sec. Your navigation button as well, and then your auto, your audio and your tripometer as well. Now this wheel will flick through the stations too, so you can keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times. Next to the steering wheel you've got a brightness adjuster for the centre cluster itself and then you've got all your headlight controls. Now you can just leave them on auto and it will do all the work for you. On your left hand stalk you've got your windscreen wipers. Didn't, didn't mention on the, that on the right hand stalk you actually have your cruise control as well. 
Now into the main screen now, as you can see, we have satellite navigation up and running at the moment. Now putting this in reverse, you will see we do have the reverse camera. It is dark outside, so um, that's why you can't see as much. We'll show you through the EDI, probably the best feature on these uh, Maloos, uh, any HSV really. Um, so it just shows you a couple certain things. If we flick through it, as you can see, all different settings. This one here is actually my favorite. So if I give the car a rev, you can actually see my brakeage percentage at the moment. If they give the car a rev, you will see it actually goes up with the uh, throttle response and it also has your acceleration as well. Now you can shift it to, um, sorry, you can change the shifts to different um, where you actually want the gears to change. So you can have it in performance, uh, I think it's performance, track, and then you have sport as well. Going across, you have different gauges here as well, so torque and power. Uh, you also got, you know, your average fuel, which you shouldn't care about in a car like this. You have a stopwatch, um, and again, another lap timer as well. So as you can see, guys, fantastic system that Holden's put in there as well. Now this does have radio, AM, FM radio, USB, and AUX as well. Just down below, you have all your climate control. Uh, and your hard buttons for your stereo as well. You have this beautiful Maloo plaque in there as well. Now just down below with the climate control, it is dual zone climate control, so changing the temperatures here. As you'll see, I can put two different temperatures, so you have cold and 24, or 20 and 24. Um, we'll keep that off as it's not that cold outside. Um, you can control it all through there. Now you have your automatic gearbox. Now you can drive it as a normal automatic, or you can flick it to the sport shift and shift through the gears manually. You got a uh, traction control button there, so you can turn off for any reason. In a car like this, I wouldn't because it just looks so good and you wouldn't want to ruin it in any sort of way. You got all your mirror controls and your central locking as well, and then both power window controls too. I didn't mention if we pan up all your binnacle gauges up there, so you have your uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, and you also have your battery voltage as well. Now there are two cup holders with this vehicle. You get a nice leather, leather, leather rest, sorry, leather armrest, can't get the words out of my mouth. Uh, and as you can see, it's in phenomenal condition as well. Inside, you've got a 12 volt socket. you got USB and AU AUX there as well. So as you can see, guys, from the inside condition of the vehicle, from the leather for that matter, for the doors, even the outside of the vehicle, with 15,000 kilometers on the clock, this car presents as it did when it walked out of the showroom. All right, guys, hopefully that's giving you a really good representation of the outside, inside condition and under the engine bay as well. As you can imagine, the way the car presents with only 15,000 kilometers, you are buying a piece of history if you are buying this car. Now, a couple of things I would highly recommend with this car. First of all, you would have to get the glass coat on this car. So that is a 10% ceramic base that will go over the clear coat of the car. Will literally make it 10% shinier and look as brand new, um, if you can look any more brand new than it already is. Another thing I'd like to talk about, with a 4.8 star rating on Google with over 800 reviews, um, you can be assured that you're buying the right car, which this car is, from the right quality people as well. Now the number to call is 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.